A major corporation hoping to set a new standard with its policy for working moms. It's a new policy that offers at least 16 weeks of paid maternity leave. And get this, for the first six months back on the job, new moms will be able to work just 30 hours a week but still earn a full-time salary. The company's called Vodafone. It has locations all over the world, including here in this country. And they say the new policy is all about helping women to ease back into their jobs after having a baby. Workplace psychologist Dr. Mimi Hall is joining us this morning with more on this. Great to see you. See you. What did you think when you first heard about this? You know, I think it's wonderful. I, when we look at other countries in the world, we give the fewest number of weeks and the fewest number of opportunities to women who are having babies. Why is that? Why do you think that, uh, you know, a, a country like the United States is so far behind? You know, I think part of the reason is that we we were always um, pushing the fact that women did not work in the workplace and when they came in it was all of a sudden okay we've got to make the standards equal We're very much into equal and I always say that fair does not necessarily mean equal do you think that in some way companies are trying to discourage women from having babies because they think gosh I'm only gonna get such a mm -hmm. small amount of time off I mean is that is it kind of the company's way of saying well we really don't want you to have a baby but if you have to we'll give you a little something I think that's part of it Amy I really do but I also think that the fact that as a company they're so afraid they're gonna lose the women that as a result they do things that say okay you gotta hurry up and get back to work and what they don't realize is that most women will leave their jobs during that first year of pregnancy of after having had a pregnancy. So if you make it easier on them, then what might happen? Then they might stay, you have reduced turnover, you have reduced training costs, and actually the cost to the company is less than if they force them to work full time and they quit. Wow. So do you think that companies like Vodafone, that this will perhaps encourage other companies to say, take a look at this and say, oh, maybe we do need to, to have a better policy? I think it is. I think when if Vodafone is successful, successful with this, other companies are going to look at that and say, okay, this may be a way to attract top talent. And what usually happens also, if we don't do something like that, our best people leave. So here's a way to attract top talent, here's a way to develop top talent, and here's a way to make sure that we keep our women who are having babies. We can only hope, Dr. Mimi, we can only hope. Always great Thank to see you. you. Your website, please. It's hullonline.com. All right. Always great to see you. Thank Thanks you. so much.